Yo guys, what is up? It is Nate Egan from Egan Visuals here, and today I'm bringing you a new tutorial on the scan effect. So I used this in my last video called I Don't Love You Anymore. If you haven't seen it yet, please check it out and support it. Uh, I'm trying to come out with more short edits like this while working on bigger stuff. But anyway, so yeah, I'm going to show you an example, and then we'll get right to it. Alright, so today I'm going to be teaching this uh, effect as a transition, but you can definitely adapt this into like a regular effect or however you want to use it. But yeah, I'm going to use it as a transition today. So, what you want to do is you want to find your two clips that you want to transition through. And what you want to do is you want to go to the effects tab, go to the video effects, stylize, and find edges. Or you can just search it in the uh, search bar. So, um, as you can see, it finds all the edges. <laughs> and... For this video, we're going to invert it, but I'm guessing you'd probably leave it inverted, but we're going to just invert it for this video. So, you want to go to the last frame and toggle animation, make a keyframe for the last frame and keep it on 0% because this is how we want it to end. So, go like three frames back and make it like... Uh, let's make it like 60 or something, and then go, wait, what's that, 3? 1, 2, 3, go like 4 back, like 1, 2, 3, 4, and then make it 100. So pretty much what's happening here is on the first frame, it's blending completely in with the original clip, so it just looks like the normal clip, and then as you're going in, it's slowly bringing the effect out. It starts slow, and then it speeds up, so it's just not, you know, comes out of nowhere. So like that, sort of. And now, what we want to do is, honestly, you could probably even copy and paste this to the next clip and just honestly move around the keyframes a little bit. So what we can do is put the first one, no, put the last one in front. One, two, three. Just flip it around. One, two, three, four. So now you got this. So it's like a little scan effect. Um, we're going to have to change this one a little bit because... I feel like when it fades out on the second clip, you kind of want it to be a little bit longer lasting. Yeah, so we got to like spread it apart a little bit more. That still looks really weird. Let's change this number. Oh. So now we have. Yeah, pretty much that's it. It's not perfect, but you can mess around with it and make sure it's like perfect to like your music or however exactly you want your pacing. So, um, so as you can see, it's pretty dull because it has just black. Unless you want just the black, or I guess for example, if we left it like this, oh, that looks exactly the same. Oh wait, never mind. Or like this, but so if you want to add color to this, um, what I did is I went to, I right clicked in this area or you can go to new or file new adjustment layer so I got one of those handy dandy things and what I did was I went to color correction and I think it was channel mixer, yeah channel mixer so what I did on this so in the video that I just showed you guys I wanted a, like a red vibe to it so I just bumped up this to like 150 and as you can see, it kind of affects the uh, the fine edges effect. So you can kind of look at this and mess around, like maybe like lower with some of these a little bit, or uh, I kind of forget how I did this part. Yeah, just lower these a little bit. Ooh, that is not weird or not not look good. Yeah, so something like that. So yeah, yeah, there you go. So you pretty much have like the red vibe right there. Um, if you wanted to make this a little bit, look a little bit smoother I, I'm guessing you could add a video transition like cross dissolve kinda shorten it so it's just like yeah it looks a little smoother so one extra step you could take to making this look a little better is you could go to video effects and blur and sharpen and use a Gaussian blur or I'm not even sure how to pronounce that to be honest but so what I would do for this is go to like the middle frame and make it like somewhere between like 20 and 40 
And make sure you put uh, the repeat edge pixels because if you don't, you have like this weird uh, dark edge thing. It just is not. It look. I cringe every time I see someone leave that on there. So uh, toggle animation on that. Bring it back a little bit to the start. Make this zero. And now you got looks a little better. And then you want to add the same thing to the second clip. So we'll start it off with. 20 or whatever just start off with the same number you had last time and it's kind of see if you don't take out that if you don't take off the repeat edge pixels you have this weird edging stuff and you don't want that so there you go it looks a little bit better um, that blur definitely lasted too long so yeah we're going keyframes especially um, it's it involves a lot of just like messing around and um, just like figuring out the timings. I'm still even trying to figure out the timings and I've been working with keyframes for like a couple of years now. So anyways, hopefully this helped you guys out. Um, if you end up using this tutorial or one of my other tutorials, please send it to me. I love watching you guys' stuff. It's honestly so motivating to me. And uh, I just want to thank you guys for all the support recently. I've been trying to upload a lot more and you guys are really showing love for it. So thank you for that. Also, go check out the video that I just uh, showed you guys as an example. I'll leave a link in the description below. I used uh, vocals by Prince EA, who's a huge inspiration to me. And he recently mentioned me and retweeted that video on Twitter. So, big shout out to him. And uh, hopefully you guys like it as well. And uh, have a good one. Maybe I've been slipping back, heading south, car sick on a Tuesday. Missing cash, blacking out, heartless in a few ways. Shit for luck, elbow shredded, I help things steady like too late.